Hello and good evening. And I know y'all thought I wasn't coming back, but I had to. Now let's get down to the point why I'm here. Why am I bothering you all again? Well, I'm coming back and I'm giving you the story that um all about the tea put out. Yes, they are doing fantastic things over there. Go and check their website out and get your updated news on celebrity entertainment gossip. Okay, if you dare, if you dare to partake. Okay. Uh, in anyway, the person that brought up this article is Abigail. Can't pro pronounce the last name, so I don't want to tear it up. I can shorten it for by calling her Land, and the rest I I can't pronounce, so I just don't want to take the time to pronounce it. But she's one of the commentaries over there on the journalist that brought this article. Her article reads, Kenya Moore revealed Mark Daly was not happy with her days before split in shocking video. Okay, like I said, if you go to All About the Tea, they got the video footage that Kenya did on her own Instagram account. And you can clearly tell Mark was pissed. And he was just being like sarcastic with her, being kind of a little nice, nasty, but he didn't like it. And then I did see, only because, like I say, Kenya be out there posting stuff and, you know, it just runs across my social media feed. I don't really even go looking for stories. I just go through Google and I see what's trending on social media and bam, there she's always there every day, every day, every day. There's something. So, okay, you know I'm, I'm, I'm nosy. You know I'm going to go flying down and see what's in them comments, what's in them articles. And I'm going to be like, mm, I don't like that. I'm going to have to speak on that. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I get started, y'all. Tap my hand. Tap my arm. Okay, give me a hug sometime. I need it. I need it. Okay, but anyway, um, getting back to the story. I, like I said, I saw the video that she put up. He was sleeping in the bed, minding his own business, and he probably had a rough night with a uh, little baby girl. And but she was just all up on her daddy, just like daddy cub. And you know he got a little bit barely going on, but it's all cute, it's all sexy. But like I said, he wasn't uh, thinking he's gonna be filmed, but they probably would have had some covers on them. You know what I'm saying? But see, that's what I'm talking about. And then he was fussing at Kenya about that. He and he told us because I heard it in the background that he was saying that picture was taken without my permission. And see, that's what I'm saying, Ken. You can take pictures all day long of yourself from your head to your toe. But can we please get some authorization here? Can we please get some written consent? Okay? Because I know if I post stuff on my daughter or whatever, which I never would. But I remember when I used to share her pictures throughout the family reunion. We had our little album on Facebook. She was getting mad. She said, that picture wasn't flattering. I don't like that picture. You know, it's it, it just too, too disturbing. Okay? So I stopped doing that. I stopped. She talked. She didn't like it. And I stopped it, okay? I don't share her own pictures or whatnot. But if she in a picture that I like of myself, I'm going to share it, okay? I'm like, don't take pictures of me because it might get shared. But I'm doing it on my uh, family uh, timeline. So it's family seeing family. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm posting it out there. But like I say, I give myself the you are. I'm putting myself on front street. So you can come at me because I invite you to come to my platform. Give me your opinion. As long as it's respectful. You ain't got no cussing in there and caring. Okay, I ain't cussing at y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. All right, I might be cussing at the situation, but I don't really try to cuss at nobody. You know what I'm saying? Unless I probably have to put my hands on them. And I ain't did that since I was in high school because now you can catch a case. You be up in that jailhouse at the popo getting fingerprinted and everything. I ain't got time for that. Mm -mm, I'm too cute. But anyway, just to get back to the story, the reason why I don't get on the other housewives and they kids, because I ain't got time right now, okay? Because they ain't really did nothing. They had to make me go across my social media feed and be like, ooh, okay. Mm, I got to talk about it. Now, I did do that one when Todd called himself going to London, educating his daughter about the different countries and how they get down. And just to, you know, culturalize her, in a sense, uh, from what the states do. Okay? And, and the strip club was a bit much for me. And I got in that behind the heels. Now, a lot of other people did, too. We were some like-minded people going over there to his platform saying, now, nah, you know, that was foul. And, you know, I was even going so far. So I hope the mother of your baby girl hit you in your kneecaps or something to that effect. You know what I'm saying? Because that wasn't right. That's foul on play. All right. And I'm glad Candy was nowhere involved in it. But then she got messed up with some stuff with Riley. And I spoke on that. About Riley going around there asking normal day people, every, you know, walks of life for some money. Even though I know she's a child, this, that, and the third. But she's a different child. She's in the entertainment world child. 
they have a different pedigree in a sense. When I say pedigree, don't get me about class. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about financial situation, money, hand over fist. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, can Riley go back into her old neighborhood and get with those kids? And they're going to be on the same playing field. She driving around in a Porsche and they're probably driving around in an ABC car. You know what I'm saying? Some of them don't mix, but that don't mean Riley don't like those people. So don't get me wrong on that one. I ain't saying that. But I'm saying their mother and father pockets may be different from what Candy Pockets is putting out. You see what I'm saying? That's all I meant by that video that I had to get on Riley. You know, that everybody was like, okay, you know. I'm like, let me speak my mind. I'll let y'all speak y'all mind. We all one-minded. We all have opinions and perspectives. Sometimes some of ours are tunnel vision. We only see one way. We can't open up to other people's perspectives. And, you know, hey, I was like that at one time, too. But I still have certain things I feel certain ways about. And I should be able to speak them. And like I said, I have wonderful people over here that I'm dialoguing with, that I'm responding back to in my comment session, especially if they come with me re being respectful. The ones that want to talk slick at the mouth, I go on and answer them too, but it's probably how I should answer them. And I tell them, don't comment back no more, you know, or I remove the, uh, I let it stay up there for a while to be fair. And then I remove the comment. But I don't have a problem with dialogue with any and everybody. I've been loving it. You know what I'm saying? Because we get to see other people's perspectives. Okay? Some that we never really thought about. Some we didn't take the time to think about. And then we come together and say, well, damn, yeah, that could have happened that way. Thank you for giving me that opportunity to see your point of view. Okay? But I don't tire it too long on that situation. But I love all you all in, in Jesus Christ's name, in Christ Jesus. Okay? That is truthful. Uh, but yeah, just to clear all that up, <sighs> let me see, let me get back to the story because we, we kind of got off subject. Let's get on back to it now. The uh lady, we're going to call her Ava Gal. She wrote, um, she's the article publisher uh, of this particular article at All About the Tea. You know, her employee over there, she represented for them. Her title goes, Kenya Moore revealed Mark Daly was not happy with her days before split in shock video. Okay, I'm putting it back on point. Now, yeah, like I said, I saw the video with him laying in bed. Uh, unbeknownst to what Kenya was doing, of course, that's Kenya mentality. She's just going by thinking about, oh, I got to post this. Oh, I'm going to get this generated generated out there on social media but you know I'm like you know you can't you can't do that I wouldn't even want my uh spouse or boyfriend taking no pictures of me talking about he's finna post them somewhere I'm like are you kidding are you crazy you know this is for me and you not for the world to see okay but that's just how I see things and I know people gonna say well can you see them differently too and you're right but you're gonna have people come back and want to be at your door, knocking on your door, saying, okay, let me put my opinion in because you put it out there. So I have a rebuttal or I have a uh, different perspective. Can I can I leave it at your doorstep? Okay. And yeah, you can, but it may not get read. That's what Premier Power was saying. But I'm going to always try to answer everybody. Okay. Uh, especially if I invite you to my porch for a little dialogue. Okay. But then we go back to the story. It said... Um, I mean, if you want to go see the pictures of what I'm saying, because I'm not going to put it on my platform, and I'm definitely not going to put Baby Brooklyn back on my platform or any kids of that nature, because I, I, I'm just funny about that. And I know people out there saying, because I got them on my commenter uh, spread section where, you know, I should be telling people not to do it. When I tell you that something you shouldn't do, I'm looking out for your benefit. Because you might not have thought about how I'm thinking. Because you're thinking it's all innocent. It's all, you know... Uh, it's cool. Ain't nobody gonna hurt my child. Ain't nobody gonna hurt me through my child. And this, that, and third. I get it. Got it. Good. However, maybe somebody did tell you that, and I may be that one person that swings down and say, look, that's not a good look. If you want to plastic your whole family out there, and, you know, one or two people may not like you, and, you know, you don't just become a target. Your whole family will become a target, because you don't show them who you know, uh, it's close to you and who they can do damage to you to get to you. You see what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. People can do whatever they want. I ain't saying what I'm saying is the holy grail. Take it for what it's worth and take it and use it. Okay? We all got to ask for our own discernment when we sit and listen to people. If they talking like they got sense or they done been through it, then I'm willing to uh, put that like in, in my file cabinet in my head and say, okay, if I ever come across this problem, this person has some good, solid advice. I'm going to listen and apply it 
to that situation if it ever comes up. That's the kind of person I am. Now, if you don't get down that way, I'm, it's several different avenues you can get to a certain position where everybody trying to go. Okay, <coughs> I get that too. But what I'm saying is, let me have my time where I can express myself. And I'm going to give you your time. You can express yourself as well. Okay. All right. Let's go on back to the article now. It says uh, on September 16th, Reality Diva shared a video of herself that Mark on their way to the Tamara Hall show on her Instagram story. In the video below, she explains that Mark Daly was upset with her for posting a photo of him with no shirt on their daughter and their daughter on Instagram, which he has every right. You didn't ask him for permission. And Kenya, you already know if we if this has been be if the situation with him needing his privacy, wanting his his privacy and demanding his privacy, we all know it on social media. What part don't you get when you're living with the man 24 7 or whenever you do see him, his stance is still the same. Get off that phone, get off that camera, and let's have some interaction time, you know, between us where we're here. We're here. It's not me, you, and the world. It's just me and you and the baby, okay? Everything is not supposed to be out there in social media. That's not how real life goes. And evidently, Kenya has a problem with that because it's still not resonating in her brain that this is the way this man lives, okay? But anyway, uh, going back, it says, uh, Mr. Daly was not happy with me posting a semi nude picture of himself sleeping with the baby on the other day. She tells her followers watching the video. Like I said, if you go to uh, All About the Tea, they have a little short video of uh, what Kenya don't put together while she's riding to the show with her uh, assistant and Mark and the baby and the driver. So she's having her own little video session time. You know, can't get off the camera. And you could tell Mark was in on the side of her looking very annoyed and he was trying to chime in when she was trying to throw him under the bus. He was doing it sarcastically, but he was still making his point. He didn't like what she did. OK, and she's trying to, you know, make up uh, excuses that, you know, he really like it. He just acting funny at this time. And I'm like, OK, can you keep playing with that man if you want to keep playing with him? All right. Uh, and then it goes to say, uh, like I said, Mark chimed in, not happy at all about that picture. Not happy without my permission, he says, with a grimace on his face. Yeah, that's what Mark had said. Uh, then he said it it was without his permission. I said, report me to Instagram. Kenya smugly brushed him off. So she retaliated back to him, you know, in a condescending way saying, OK, yeah, I did it without your permission. Report me. Report me to the law, the Instagram law. You see what I'm saying? That's kind of petty. And, you know, that's really shouldn't have been said. It had a whole video she was taping. Shouldn't even been all period. You know, uh, I'm getting kind of disgusted myself with this and her acts. But anyway, uh, it goes back and says, see, uh, see what I have to live with? A frustrated Mark responded. And see, all this stuff, if we ever have to resurface it and he can use it in the court of law, it's like she has no reference to what he feels or what he likes to happen in their marriage. It's almost like she's making all the rules. You either follow them or you get out. And that's why I guess he said, I'm out, you know. But going back to the article, it says, Kenya blames their on-camera bickering on their dry sense of humor. But Mark Daly looks angry and clearly not on the same page. Okay. We have, it says, we each have very sort of dry senses of humor. This is what Kenya is trying to explain to us, the viewers. It's just funny, she says, while looking into the camera. People always think we are arguing, but we're not arguing. We just have our own way of laughing and communicating with each other. I believe I'm really witty and you have a dry sense of humor. I'm extremely, I'm extremely funny. She's dry. Mark interjected. I'm not as dry as his feet. Can you equip? equip but well, she uh, did her little clap back on him. We don't want to go there. Mrs. Sierra does not want to call someone dry. Mark snapped. As Kenya's sister in the back seat told them both to play nice. Okay. I'm out. And he probably witnessing me and her sister a lot of bickering going on between the two. But he probably signed us a confidentiality uh confidentiality clause where he couldn't say or, or, or interject or put Nan out on social media or he'll be sued and you know reparations will be taken upon him. 
So he was probably, and with him coming out saying that, okay, God's so big, he probably tired of damn hearing it. He is probably fed up, and he wish he could probably tell somebody, but he know he ain't got time to be trying to face no fines, because I'm sure they wouldn't put him in jail. They'll just find his behind to where he'll wish he just never would have said anything, which is cool. Okay, I understand where he's going with this, but then we go back to the article. Uh, it says on September 19th, Mark Daly provided pe uh, people with a statement about his split from Kenya Moore. I have to come to the difficult decision to separate from Kenya at this time. Okay, and that's the same stuff that really has been generating on social media. Then we go on to um, the image has since been deleted from Kenya Instagram page, but not before it was reposted on the Internet. Below is the shirtless image of Mark with their daughter Brooklyn on his chest that caused their spat. And like I said, if you go to uh, All About the Tea, you will see it if they still have it. I still was able to retrieve it prior to doing this story. So you can see it. And I can see what he's talking about. You in your own privacy, your own home. And this woman sitting up there snapping, snap, ugh, snapping pictures everywhere. You know, and it could be interpreted a whole different other way, depending on how you were looking at it. But, okay, we're going to move on from there. And it says... Um, all about the tea. Also, we uh, reported some stuff on Mark. They spilling the tea on his behind. It said, um, "All about the tea .com spilled the tea about Mark Daly's secret life in New York City with another woman." Okay, we moving into another whole avenue, a trash. Okay, a celebrity salacious gossip. Take it for what it is. It's all alleged on me. Okay, all alleged. Okay. It goes in to say, Kenya and Mark have been fighting since after they got married. A source tells all about the T.com. Okay. Mark has always been distant from Kenya, as she assumed it was because he lived in Brooklyn, but found out that he's been seeing another woman that he has kids with. Dang, that's some shit. Ain't that some shit. Ain't that the cop, the, the pot calling the kettle black. Okay. We're going to move on, though. We're going to tread water, but we're going to move on. It says the source continues. Mark has been seeing this woman for years and loves her very much. He hooked up with Kenya because she was so willing to pay for everything and helped him get out of debt and pay his bills. The rock solid source tells all about the tea. Kenya is too much drama for Mark. After filming that TV show, he, meaning Mark, was done with her. He did not want to do the show, but Kenya demanded that he help get her back on TV. Okay? The source dish to All About the Tea. All right, All About the Tea has been reporting for weeks prior to the breakup announcement. The couple's marriage was in major crisis, and the happy marriage fas uh, or fascade will soon crumple. crumble. Okay? Um, yeah, and that's all I got. This is the story that I, I had mean, had wanted to come out with, but I just couldn't find it. You know, I'm a person that likes to give references. I don't want people thinking I'm up there making up nothing, okay? Just like they gave it to me, I'm giving it to y'all. Y'all make y'all own opinions about it. But I'm, I, hey, if that kind of mess happened to me, if I was in her mind of thinking and had that situation happen, I would have been getting my tea, writing my narrative and telling it all. I would have been out, out on front street. OK, it would be good for my TV career because I'm on Real Housewives of Atlanta. They wanted drama and honey, I'm going to bring it to you. This this mother been out here doing this, that and the third and get it on tape because I'm hot about it. And you better get it because it's going to be salacious. OK, and it's going to be true because I got my people on deck. They got cameras, footage, video, footage. And an inside scoop that know the lady that he's messing with. Okay. And she got footage. Okay. We would have been rolling. And talking about this case being solved. Like, no, no, no. Whatever you're saying. No. I don't want to hear it no more. You need to start talking about me. That's how we would have been up in this media street. But see, now I can see if all of this is true. Now, I don't know. It might be just allegedly like we're hinting. But if this is true, I can see why her statement came back. She can no longer live in this situation. This, that, and the third. Yes, Kenya, because most of us know we feel, okay, I feel that it was a, a, a fake thing from the beginning. Now, if whatever you had with this man, the contractual agreement, he took that money plus then some. Yes, I can see why you upset. 
I, yeah, I can, but I'm sure you better take your losses, go on about your business, and, you know, try to do what you can uh, with you wanting this man to be in your baby's life or not, since you say he's the father. I don't know, because we might have some DNA evidence come back saying he's somebody else's child. So I'm just saying, it's time to straighten up shit now, because it's, it's, it's going left, it's going south. We're going in a way we don't want to go. So you, it's time for you to break out with all the news reporting that you want to do. Write your own story. Make it be the truth now. Because you know you got fact checkers out here. They're going to go and, and be trying to pull up this, that, and the third. And they're going to come back and say, nope, you're still lying. You okay? Then where's your notoriety, notoriety going to come from? You know, are you going to have people on your side? You're not going to have people on your side. But like I say, you got to look kind of crazy out in these streets, okay? Crazy for sitting up there calling yourself paying off a man's debt, okay? Especially when he's supposed to be so successful and he got money, hand over fist, a millionaire. Again, I say, I ain't seen him in Forbes magazine. No, I haven't, but I ain't saying, okay? Woo, child, I can't even think of a song that would come to mind that I need to just spill out, okay? Ooh, but I guess I do, I got one. <laughs> It's an old one. It's a new one. And I definitely have been definitely recording. I'm recording, Chauncey. I don't have time to talk. What, Chauncey? I'm recording. Oh, uh, I'll come back up there in a few. All right. All right. But I don't know where I was. Rumors. Rumors. What about those rumors? Oh, no. Should I do friends? Friends? Mm -mm. How many of us have them friends? Mm -mm. Well, we can depend on friends. Mm -mm. How many of us have them? Let's be friends. Mm -mm. Before we go any further, girl, the kids more have any friends out there. I'm just telling you, because ooh, they just using her left and right. She's making all these agreements, these contracts being signed. They're not being fulfilled to her expectations. Now she's trying to just run them up out there. But I'm like, get your house in order. Get your house in order, Kenya. Please get your house in order. Take some of my advice. Don't take some of my advice. I'm just letting you know. The streets are talking. He out there making you look bad. He already been looking bad. You just picked up another case on the street. Okay? You ain't no better than Phaedra. Talking about she would have got somebody out of the jailhouse, married him, and had two kids. Look at you. Hired a man for hire to play all these parts, and then he's still screwing you in the end. I don't understand. Make it. You can't make this stuff up. Okay? It's just too unbelievable. But here we are talking about it. So let's get in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all want to say. I know y'all will. You surely will. Yes, you all going to do it. I know it. Okay? But that's where we are. Okay? And we should have rounded up everything on Kenya Moore. Unless she comes out and do something else. I don't know. Where's her publicity? publicity team. Where's our PR people? People need to get ahead of this story. The vlogger shouldn't be out here running everything, telling everything. We need somebody to come in and say, okay, we have a marriage license. We have a divorce decree. We have, you know, this, that, and the third. Okay? That's for the people that want to know. All right? This is for the people who want to know. But other than that, that's all I have for this video. It was kind of longer than I had anticipated. But it was just so much to drop on y'all. Y'all might have to do a replay or cut me up in parts. You know what I'm saying? Of my video. Because I gave y'all a lot. I gave y'all a lot. And all of it is allegedly. Okay? This is what the streets are talking about. And until we have some clarification, we're going to keep it like that. Like we picking up an Inquirer magazine. The, the, the story sounds salacious. The story sounds good. But we don't know if it's true or not. But we're going to talk about it. Don't fool yourself. You know you're going to talk about it. All right? I'm just giving you a platform. Come over here with me. Get me straight like some of y'all like to do. I don't mind. You know, sometimes I do have tunnel vision. And I only just see my perspective. And sometimes I don't think out the box, you know, because I'm still head on my story. And I thought I don't did my due diligence to come up with what I feel, okay? But then I do have come to the realization that, yeah, I could have went that way, but I ain't like that way. I wanted this way, okay? But some of y'all do come up with uh, great examples of things I couldn't even have found them to think about. And I'm going to be working on a video, um, 
who is my lady? Marisol had told me to check out something, get some pictures side to side to see if I can come up with something else. Because I don't know. I don't know if Bailey, Bailey, uh, Baby Brooklyn may not be more. But I'm going to do my due diligence and I'm going to bring, bring it to you all, you the people, for y'all to see. Okay? And that was helpful with Marisol. So shout out to Marisol and shout out to everybody that was in the comment section. Too many to name on the two, but I appreciate you all for coming by and sharing your comments with me. They didn't go unanswered. Yes, they did. And if they did, resend it back to me because I might have missed it. All right. But anyway, now, now let me check. Let me fact check down. Now, the ones that have been done right uh, ugly and cussing at me, y'all, you probably got a response and I deleted the shit after about maybe a couple of hours or several hours being up so people could see your post. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I I give a fair shake. You might come in and cuss me. I'll use everything but a child of God to describe me and talk about me. But let it be known now. It ain't going to stay up there. I give it where I let you have your comment section for a while, but it ain't going to stay up there, okay? Oh, but anyway, y'all relax. Y'all be good to each other, and I will see y'all next video, meaning tomorrow. Okay? Blessings. Bye-bye.